Yeah, so I did comm sci, but Una did computer science and electrical engineering. And I never once bothered to look at your assignments. But what is actually electrical engineering? Well, I didn't do much of it because I changed courses. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, under computer engineering, so basically it's. I think computer engineering is where they tie in how computer science will fit into the actual hardware. Yeah. So under my degree, um, there was a point where we did um, low level programming. We used a language called ARM. I don't know if many of you will know it. Like ARM, you can try and Google it. Yeah. There's different versions right now, but it's very low level. So essentially... What's low level? So low level programming. So high level, you know that you code in... I guess syntax. Yeah. And then so low level programming is to a point where the code is so close to machine code that it interacts with the hardware. Oh wow. So it's not ones and zeros, but it's easily interpreted to ones and zeros because you actually code resistors. Whoa. So I did a course on where literally you would move information, information being a byte, a byte, a one or a zero. <laughs> a single byte. So you move a one or a zero from one resistor <laughs> to the to next it. to make the logic work in a computer essentially in the oh, end. Wow. Um, so that's the difference between, I guess, the programming comp side, the programming that electrical engineers or computer engineers oh, okay. or electronic so engineers less extractions. might do. Less extractions, yeah. more actually working with the actual memory, the actual physical parts, like a one plus one, it's very simple when you're coding yeah. in high level, but in low level, it could literally take 10 lines oh, to do a simple you have to addition. Like manage the resistors because then... you move one, you move, you move a number yeah. to another resistor to add it, to put the sum in the other resistor, to move it to where it will show on the screen. Yeah, I remember we did one low level course and in the lab, Mips, right? right? Yeah, um, the smartest people were getting together, like, how are we gonna make this phone loop work? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was just like, this phone loop, though, it's so much, it was so much code. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like, an engineer still saying Mips is like, hybrid. Mips was me. easy. <laughs> Yo. For us, it was like, eh. I did Mips as well. Mips was so easy. I said it, um, um, killed us. We almost died, all of us. But. Yeah, that's the difference if yeah. you're interested in getting to know more about electronics. electronics. Yeah. yeah, engineering. You're into hardware and you want to make hardware. It's fun, guys. Yeah. It's fine. It's not. It's yeah. hard, but it's fine. Yeah. What is code? I didn't know what is code. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just us. <laughs> so, yeah. Being yeah. a good at engineering is... It's hard. Yeah. Being a student who's trying it's to be an engineer is hard. hard. <laughs> Engineering is hard. It's hard. <laughs> um, okay, so I think, okay, we're going to give tips on surviving being a woman in engineering, engineering, essentially. Yeah. So I was, a lot of my courses, because I had a few computer I guess linked to electrical engineering courses. Yeah. So a lot of them were under the engineering faculty. So I guess I, I got the best of both worlds in a way. Um, and it's not really easy being a female, yeah. being a black female in, yeah. in courses, because engineering, especially electrical and like electronics and mechatronics and things like robotics and whatever, is more white males gravitate towards such things yeah. and also programming as some people might know males gravitate towards yeah. computers and whatever yeah. so not a lot of people look like you and you yeah. tend to feel the gap yeah. of people not looking like you and you tend to be intimidated so i think the first tip i'd give is that yes no one looks like you yeah but just get over it and try be as comfortable as you can yeah um and I think I remember picking up one struggle a lot in June, like you, it's, it's, it's hard for you to look like a girl. It's yeah, like, yes, you're yeah, a woman, but yeah. mostly you have to like wear the hoodies and the jeans and kind of yeah. hide out. And then when you're someone like me who like wearing orange dresses, mm -hmm. when you walk into the lecture room, they ask you if you're lost. And I'm just like, no, no. I do engineering, no, but uh, I wear orange dresses. I was dresses. lost in the previous class. I was like, <laughs> this, this time you use the right one. <laughs> I can do the assignments and I can wear an orange dress. So I think just own who you are. Yeah. Be unapologetic and just rough it out. Yeah. Be strong. Do you want to give advice? 
Um, I I used to feel imposter syndrome. But I still feel it, but mainly also I felt that because I was a girl, I wanted to prove that I I could be smart, and I was ashamed yeah. to ask for help because when you ask for help, people go, "Oh, she's such a pretty face," and it's like, no, no, I'm actually no. Do you know that? Did you have the answer? <laughs> And I've also had people come up to me and they were like, you know, when I saw you in class, I wasn't really sure. And then I heard you speak and I was like, oh, she knows what she's doing. And I was like, that, why would you, why would you come over to me to say that? Like, why was that important to, for, like, why was that important for you to say that to me? And I think people will come up to you and just say weird stuff. Like, oh my gosh, I didn't, like, you don't look like a developer. And it gets annoying, like, to hear, like, constantly. But then also just be patient with the fact that there aren't a lot of women developers. So every time people see you, they're literally going to be like, oh my gosh, do you really know how to code? Yeah. And don't let the boys intimidate you because in most cases, especially group projects, yeah, people yeah. will make you do the lighter stuff. Like, like you can do the front yeah. end. And it's yeah. like, no. I can code back in. But essentially, yeah. girls, yeah. Don't, don't be scared to like own up and have a voice amongst the boys. Yeah. And as, even if you get, there might be cases where they actually will verbally tell you that you're kind of not good enough. Yeah. Kind of get over that and yeah, you have prove to, just, to them that you actually yeah. can do this. But at the same time, also like take it easy on yourself. Like sometimes because you're a woman, you feel that you're not getting it at the first instance. It's like, okay, cool. They were clearly right. So just be, com- be comfortable with if you fail a course, if you take a bit longer, it's not because you're a woman. It's just computer science is very difficult. And some people have been programming since they were six years old. They will literally remind you. <laughs> and just, yeah, just also be okay with letting yourself fail. Like, I think that's yeah. what we often don't give women in the industry room for is just as much space to fail. Yeah, it's okay to not know. Yeah. But it's okay to also stand up for yourself, even if you don't, you don't know. know. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for watching our video, and thank you, Una, for being on my channel. Thank you. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we hope you learned something useful, and if you're keen on getting into programming, or you are in programming, and it's just for you to interpret what you know. Um, that was. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We hope you learned something new and if this makes you curious about programming. If there's anything you want to ask or anything you want to say, comment below and remember to subscribe to Sunshine in My Code and click on the notification sign so you can be a part of the notification squad. <laughs> and we'll be back with another video! <laughs> and you can follow us on social media if you haven't had enough already. <laughs> click below. Yeah.